I found the Gem, a new Casio release which is basically a new color version of the well-known Casio Datejust, called like this because of the fluted bezel. So we have in front of us the Tiffany colored Casio with the reference MTP 1302 PD 2A2VEF. Damn. This Casio Datejust style was launched a few years ago in basic color options like black, white or blue. But recently the brand came up with some fresh and trending colored editions like the green dial or this beautiful turquoise dial. Both inspired based on the hype of the Oyster Perpetual Tiffany Blue color and the green one. That's a fact. So it's great to see the revival of the MTP line, a platform made by a solid brand which offers an affordable alternative to an iconic luxury watch with a great summer color which can be worn as a dressy everyday timekeeper. Initially I wanted to say late for the Tiffany color trend, but Nike just launched an exclusive pair of sneakers in collaboration with Tiffany & Co. So here we go again, but let's see what this Casio can offer for $50. This is basically an elegant watch, due to the excessive use of polish or the fluted bezel. And of course we can preview the finishing level of the polished facets, but definitely we are not looking for perfection here, although Casio offers in general well finished watches for the prices asked. So why did I bought a $50 Casio? Well, to wear it, to enjoy it, to satisfy my curiosity, and if it's good, to share it with you. In general, I like to discover new watches, new designs, no matter the price range, and as long as they're honest. Because during my wristwatches journey, I owned and I've experienced a lot of top tier watches. But I often get impressed by such an expensive, contradictive wristwatches, which can simply bring a smile on your face. So I learned in time that horology starts at $15 and ends up at $200,000, the rest being hype. And I learned about myself that I enjoy to talk, experience and wear affordable wristwatches equally as I enjoy the luxurious ones. And that is why on the channel you will always see potentially expensive watches, but also super affordable pieces with honest value, made from brands with heritage and history behind. Switching back to our topic, against the Citizen Toyosa and the PRX Mint, this Casio has mainly the same properties as being well-sized, elegant and sporty in the same time. And looking at the finishing in detail, you can spot the quality difference between them as the price decreases dramatically from $300 or $400 to $50. But on the rest, this Tiffany Casio looks as good as the other two for sure, because Casio knows how to amplify accents on their wristwatches. And as an overall appearance, I do love the size of this watch. 38.5mm is very good, but also the positioning of the product which is somewhere between an elegant watch and a grab-and-go filled timekeeper that can provide the X-factor through the color and the highly reflective bezel. As a priority in design and personality, besides the fluted bezel and the dial, the case is not particularly spectacular or complex. It is pretty simplistic, with sharp polished facets, and a bracelet that contains mostly the center link polished, having a bit of brushed accents on the sides. And the way they put together the color next to the fluted bezel is very nice but confusing to us because it brings, in my view, more of a design language of Grand Seiko as a case with a bit of Rolex hype with the addition of the fluted bezel and the warm blue tone which reminds me of the Oyster Perpetual. And I'm not sure if it's the case or the lugs, but this case sends me more towards Japanese design language than European. But overall, despite the fluted bezel in the hands, the watch is not heavily inspired from Rolex, but more a mix of Casio with a bit of Seiko grammar design. And overall, I think Casio is one of the fewer brands that can offer a bit of everything for amazing affordable prices, offering that correct watch for the retail price asked. The star of the show I consider it to be the dial, and because we've discussed a few days ago the color of the PRX Mint, which I motivated to be pretty different in tone than the official Tiffany color. Now looking at them side by side, I would say that the PRX is closer to the Tiffany tone than the fluted Casio. The surface of this Casio is matted, as a well needed contradiction to the reflective case. Before I decided to buy this watch I was looking at the online renders and the shape of the metallic markers confused me pretty much because they aren't perfectly rectangular, being reflective as well I thought the markers are poorly finished. But then on the macro shots you can understand the conical shape with rounded corners of the 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock markers which is as well a contradiction with the rest of the sharp angles of the case. 
The dial surface has the embossed markers printed and painted in polished silver, and we can spot how reflective and smooth they are when the second hand passes above them. But overall I think this layout can be called interesting. I think this dial is well balanced with the polished minute markers combined with the faceted hands, the discrete minute track and the date window. The only thing that didn't convince me is the water resistance 50 meters font, which looks like a Times New Roman font. A bit too classic for this type of watch. Next time Casio, please, use Helvetica. And in specifications we have the silver brass case, measuring in diameter 38.5mm, with 44mm as lug to lug, 9.2mm in height, 20mm between the lugs and weights 105 grams. The watch has a mineral glass, offers 50m water resistance and neobrite loom on the hands. And inside we have the Casio module 2784 quartz, the same found on the Casio Duro Diver, which offers a 3 year battery life. When worn, the watch due to the reduced weight and specs will wear and sit comfortably on the wrist. With a disclaimer here, once you put it on the wrist, you kinda need to leave it in that specific position. Otherwise, if you slide it on the wrist, the bracelet and the lock joints will make sure to snatch some hair from the wrist, happening because of the folded pins and the joints between the links. The certain design of the case works on leather straps as well. I was looking for a blue strap to match the color of the dial. And this gentle handmade strap seemed to match the best the blue turquoise tone of the dial. And design-wise I think this combo works very well, elevating the quality level of the watch. So if you're interested in gentle handmade straps, I will leave the link in the description. Other than that, the view is spectacular on the wrist row. The volume of the case with the bracelet and the reflective bezel associated with the warm blue dial really stands out, offering a refined, playful feeling without breaking the bank to achieve such a platform. And as a reason to own such a piece, we nearly passed the winter, spring and summer are coming up, and although during warmer seasons, the divers were potentially the preferred watches to wear, for sure since the trend of the colored dials bursted on the market, once with the Rolex Oyster Perpetual and the new Seamasters Aquaterra, this confirms the trend that this type of field or elegant simplistic watches with colored dials are the new statement watches. And this super affordable Casio is in my opinion a good option for those who are looking for an entry level dressy colored watch. But what is interesting I bet if I had the black dial version for review, the story of this watch review would have been completely rewritten. But what do you think about this MTP Casio and the new Tiffany release? Is it good enough for your wrist? Please let me know in the comments section. And as usual if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time, be brave Bob, stay safe.